Hey guys, new video here. Uh, it has been uh, quite a while into the current uh, Legion League, about uh, a little over a week now, and I want to update my video for the Atlas strats, and I want to update my video also for like kind of currency farming, because some interesting ha things have emerged. Uh, so first thing, let's talk about like what's kind of cool in the sextants. So we know that they added a bunch of sextants, and let's talk about the white ones, because that's probably what you'll be using most. Um, first there is the Gifts of the Red Queen. Overall, not a very good sextant, but I keep it because it, it does have a unique chest, and um, the way it kind of works is that the more fragments you put in it, I guess the more rewarding it is. It doesn't seem like it's that rewarding because I've tried like uh, between like zero and four fragments. I haven't tried mortal fragments yet, but you get a lot of whale orbs, you get a lot of corrupted items, and then you get um, sometimes some some already identified items with some cool mods on it. Overall, it spawns the normal packs worth of strongbox mobs when you spawn it. So it's definitely not as good as any other monster mod. If you're really trying to min-max, uh, you can definitely go ahead and uh, skip that one. But I keep it because it's fun and it just looks cool, uh, and for now it is um it is kind of like a you know it's, it's nice to see a new unique strong box okay uh now another thing to note is that there is two more shrines so one is a uh called the gloom shrine and gloom shrine in terms once again in terms of monster count isn't that great because gloom shrine is one shrine and on some maps the shrines can uh not spawn monsters so there can be no monsters around the shrine but most of the time you'll have like you know your, your normal shrines density now the, what this gloom shrine does is it gives you occultist profane bloom and so there's uh, i don't know what the chance is but it seems very high it might be higher than 25 percent uh, but, but I'm not sure but basically when you kill packs you'll see purple explosions and it's a, a, a percentage of the monster's life as uh, Chow's damage and it clears really well you'll notice that your clear speed and your cleanup of things like beyonds and uh, stragglers will go through the roof right it's very clean for mapping it makes any build into the occultist and that's kind of weird that they nerfed the occultist and then just gave one of her most like iconic ascendancies to like every class in the game because the gloom shrine is super common like it is it is uh, as common as let's say getting like a magic monsters uh sextant level as before right so it's kind of weird but i keep it because even though it's only one shrine's worth of um of juice the thing is uh the the clear and the fun make up for it, right so sometimes you're just going for fun more than um more than the density but once again if you like more monsters want to spawn more beyonds then it's not really the right section for you you want to go for a uh, more monster section if you can and if you have the currency to roll the things uh, another thing that you can spawn on the white maps is a um what's it called it's called a, a resonating shrine it's a it looks like a purity of elements aura uh, on the shrine and on the buff bar and above your head and this shrine is absolutely ridiculous so what it does is it gives you charge generation but it also gives you uh increased it empowers your charges so normally a frenzy charge is four percent more damage and then four percent attack cast speed increased when you get the the resonating shrine it's 11 percent more damage from a frenzy charge so if you have five frenzy charges, that's 55 percent more damage it's better than like a like a like a melee fizz support or like you know damage on full life support it's crazy and then it gives you 11 percent uh attack and cast speed per frenzy charge so it's kind of like the pre-nerfed um well, it's kind of like the uh, the trickster, um, what's it called, the ghost shrouds or whatever they have on the right side of the, tr of the sentency tree. Really nice there. You'll definitely feel it. It's very fun. Endurance charges give you 11% physical damage reduction. Uh, that's the important one. So really crazy there. Usually you're not relying on endurance charges for um, resist or anything, so that doesn't matter too much. And then for the power charge, uh, you are getting 110% increased crit. Uh, from each power charge instead of 40%. So uh, as you can see, they're, they're pretty they're pretty crazy, right? So the the re uh, replenish what's it called? Re sorry, uh, it is called the resonating shrine. Is gives your character a ton of power, uh, and you will you will definitely notice that. And also these shrines they give like I think buff duration on them, so the shrines will last a little bit longer than a regular shrine. If you're using the goal Raven Mask, which I think is an amazing item in this league, uh, they'll last even longer. You probably have them for the entire map, if not for more. So really great things there. Other things to note. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the tormented, uh, the tormented sextant because this has been a way to make a ton of money. Uh, well, not realize money yet because if you're doing this, you're hoarding your gilded scarabs. Because right now, the majority of the player base isn't really juicing their maps too hard. They're kind of feeling it out, testing what's the best elder maps, what's what's good for the uh, monoliths, what's good for the time, the domain of timeless conflict, like which which content is the best to do and how far they want to juice it. Once the once the um, enthusiast players right hit maps and they have a elder strategy <clears throat> they want to go full juice they are going to be buying scarabs in bulk because it is that rewarding and kind of hard to lose money on if you're using it on the right maps and so the price of the gilded scarabs i believe will go up quite heavily 
if you can sell in bulk because someone who's juicing does let's say they can buy one gilded ambush for 20c but uh, if they want to buy bulk and not have to do like 50 trades they'll buy 30 40 50 of them for 30 or 40 or 45 50 c it, it, it's happened uh you know every league in the past when the items that allow you to juice and to have fun become more expensive as they are bulk percentage and this is kind of a rule across the board like if something is um is very common um if it's like super common obviously in bulk it goes down right because like everyone's trying to sell that thing but if a thing is like kind of like kind of common or like you know um you have to do certain things to get a bulk of it and it's in super demand then when you sell in bulk it will be it will be kind of crazy this kind of works for t16 maps as well which is why you want to do a t16 elder strategy so i'd say you, you kind of have to do a t16 elder strategy always be corrupting your maps um because the quantity i believe in the pack size they affect the <clears throat> when you click on the monolith you want to click on you want to go ahead and do open maps i'm i'm like a hundred percent certain that open maps like dunes bog um city square um uh, beach air like these things strand uh, are are infinitely better than indoor maps and they i know that they said they're going to balance the rewards like it were before the league started they said they were going to try to balance the rewards for indoor maps versus outdoor by being more rewarding in the icons or maybe the chest but that's just simply not true that's completely uh false so do outdoor maps uh, other notes on uh the sextants that are kind of cool um i can't remember off, uh, off the top of my head but once again i'm going to talk about the tournament scares here in a little bit uh as for delving it's kind of weird that you know you don't really want to delve because the models are still super uh expensive uh things to keep in mind of marrakesh splinters once they fix the bugs with crashing instance crashes and um and some certain builds not working the way they're intended to usually with accuracy or on hit effects uh these splinters i believe will go up as well so hold on to your marrakesh splinters if you're really into like the price kind of stable they're kind of like Chayubi splinters, right? Cheap at the beginning, but later on, uh, people can run a ton of these uh, zones per hour because it's a five-minute zone, right? Five emblem zone. People need it for the challenge, and so uh, they're gonna they're gonna be pretty expensive. So maybe save up your Marrakesh for now. It's another thing I've learned. Another thing, Cyclone is super meta right now. All the Cyclone items have been selling for huge amounts, especially if you can watch uh, whoop certain watchers' eyes for it. If you can, if you can isolate plus three weapon range on foils, um, and so so there's a lot of money to be had there uh okay let's let's just get down to the video no, no one's watching this video for any of the things i just said before everyone's probably watching this video for the torment strategy so there is a skit there is a sextant role called um there's a tormented uh, there's a torment spirit where possessed rare monsters drop a uh, scarab that scarab could be um a rusted one so like a like a mm, bad one but still kind of decent uh in white maps so if you use a white sextant you'll know, you get that one a yellow sextant will be a polished scarab if it's possessed by the monster and then the big money one the reason why you really want to go for these if you get that sextant it's about probably like one out of 30 one out of 40 one out of 50 i don't, I don't even know the odds but it's not that it's not as rare as the beyond uh sextant it's like it's probably as rare as like uh, a little bit more rare than the strongbox sextant nowadays that got kind of nerfed um so uh on a side note monster treasure takes away the pylon so be careful with that so if you get the red sextant you need to you need to work with a runner and split the profit or you need to make a runner yourself and by runner i just mean someone who is tanky enough and methodical and and uh <clears throat> and has the right setup to uh to be able to proc the spirits as much as you can like, someone sucked my channel i'm not even i'm not even live that's pretty cool uh so what i mean by this is if you get this the way that it's going to work is that you are gonna want to buy these prophecies. Now, you can probably proc like a couple hundred of these, if not more, if you do it right. So one is ending the torment. Basically, you kill an enemy and then boom, the spirit is there. Next next one is forceful exorcism. And basically, um, this one is, is also uh, is spirit generation. So you're gonna have hundreds of spirits popping out of the map. What you wanna do, I found that the best way to do this is you take a map that you have eldered, right? Once again, um, because uh things that are that are spirited drop more loot and uh obviously you're mostly doing this for scares but if you do a t16 you want to get the map drops as well right so you want to have a base t16 that's very open so it's easy to see the ghosts very easy to avoid monsters you have room to jump around and avoid and wait for them to take over monsters uh i found things like beach things like i mean you can do primordial pool you can do city square you can do arid lake you can do strand it doesn't really matter right and what you're going to do as you're gonna enter, you're gonna wait. You want to make sure you do double beyond too. But you're gonna enter. You're gonna you're gonna wait until the spirit's possessed. You're gonna start killing very slowly, right? So single target builds, very very tanky builds, uh, can do this. You could do it with like even something like cyclone, but you gotta make sure you tap it like this, like like you barely tap it like that. You do not wind up because the spirits get one shot um, on activation. 
on kill effects are very bad for this like so profane bloom uh herald of, of ass ice uh herald of thunder because the ghosts will die very very easily if you're not careful so and the goal of it is to get as many ghosts into as many monsters as you can uh two multiple ghosts in one rare monsters won't drop multiple scarabs it's only one scarab per rare monster as it's infested so once you start tagging the monsters and killing them and of course once again not dying because you only have six portals um the reason you do double beyond is for obviously it's more rares um you are going to spam these so i'll recommend maybe putting in uh half your you know half your inventory of ending the torment half your inventory of forceful exorcism and you're just going to spam right click right click right click right click right click as fast as you can as you are tapping and tap so so it's going to be like tap right when you see this the the possession and then you're going to spam as you kill them because you, you will probably kill multiple at times sometimes and spam 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 until you're all out of um prophecies you go back to town you grab more prophecies you go back in you spam again and you kill very methodically uh, once again, uh, very tanky builds are good at this. Builds with good single target, um, but AoE is fine because you need to kill some AoE to spawn beyonds. Reason you do double beyonds, once again, is for more rare spawns. If you're going to do this, you have to put in uh, scarabs in there to up your chances. So obviously the Gilded Torment Scarab, although very expensive right now, uh, the Torment Scarab is... Uh, is, is definitely kind of kind of juicy for for having a little bit more ability to proc and a little bit of ability to have that initial uh spawn rate of the the, the, the ghost but then as you get going you'll have hundreds of ghosts on the map so um <clears throat> harbinger for more rares and monsters of course for beyond and then breach is bad for beyond but breach does spawn rare monsters that's another possibility if your build is tanky that that more ghosts can possess things um nearby before they expire or get killed by you and then the <clears throat> Ambush Scarab is like, once again, Monsters for Beyond. If you roll the, the boxes, you could get rare three rares. It's a very common affix for your ghosts. And so basically, it's all about getting decent pack size, decent rare spawns, and close enough to enough ghosts as you have to be very dexterous. You have to be very dexterous with your, with your mouse to spam these two, okay? Because your inventory is over here. I guess if you played in like, <clears throat> like a more square uh, format of your monitor, it'd be easier because your mouse would have less... Uh, less room to move so you can spam 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 like hundreds of these each map um and as you're doing that you will see that these uh, the guild of scarabs will drop um and it'll look something like this uh so basically in in one screen you'll drop like like so many um so many different uh gilded scarabs and from what i can see there's a kind of like evenly distributed and as you're doing this remember don't die because you don't have six portals you might need that for other loot as well that you want to pick up <clears throat> and if you like mess up or something or you need to go grab more prophecies you know you need to there's like a like a loot dumping um <clears throat> balance to that so make sure you're a little bit careful there as you're getting all these scarabs <clears throat> another thing to note is that you probably don't want to sell them right now as i said before you might want to stash them don't even list them public so people don't see that you have them uh and then <clears throat> another thing to really uh really juice this up is if you can um if you can somehow find a uh, a prophecy farmer for you right because if you're going through these uh these prophecies uh what's gonna happen is you're gonna run out right because let's say you use like 200 or something like that and let's say you're bad and you use like 100 or something you can't realistically get these yourself so you have to have uh prophecy suppliers you know and or you have these poe app and you got you got like whoop them the whole, entire day so it is it is a barrier to entry based on the prophecies and based on a character that doesn't die um to the beyonds and is tanky enough to weather whether it while being fast enough of a of a player to be able to spam your prophecies while killing monsters or single tapping monsters and uh, so loot from the the latest test uh that with the runner that i work with uh if you do this like perfectly it is possible so the latest one was like 70 something scarabs from one map 70 something 79 gilded scarabs from a single map and so you you extrapolate that over three maps so you get probably 200 scarabs if you do it right most of the time you can get like 100 150 um but it's it's not hard to do it's just gated behind the the prophecies and having a build that can do it uh with the right setup so i think if grinding gear doesn't nerf this if it stays in the game it is very much worth it to do to make a specific scare farmer for yourself because if you if the section is that common and you are able to stock up on these prophecies eventually then you do these three maps and you get like 200 scares for yourself to use and that's a lot of loot to buy you know whatever you want right so it's been pretty crazy league uh i don't know if it's intended uh 
I really don't know. I don't. I hope they don't nerf it because it, it takes effort and and entry cost to to even set this up. But you guys can try it out. You know, a lot of people have been asking how it's done, so I thought I'd share it there. Uh, <clears throat> anything, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the best way to do the map is when you do the when you do the T16 map because it's so rippy. If you have all these mods on it, you're gonna want an alteration of Beyond. So you take a you take a T16 map and then you just use Transmute Alteration. Preferably just one mod beyond, right? Uh, I think it's like, is it of the call? I forgot what the prefix suffix is called, but just just filter for beyond and uh, don't do not do a, like a six mod rare map with it, okay? You're just gonna die all the time. So uh, yeah, so so get a blue map and uh, and then you're good to go. All right, so that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm streaming on Twitch every day at uh, twitch.tv slash crypto underscore. You guys can watch me there uh, if you want. And if you have any questions, you can ask me there as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, and I hope you guys have some uh, your, your own use scarabs uh, later. Okay, <clears throat> bye everyone, bye.